Young people, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at God's word, Moses gave his people 613 laws. David reduced them to 15. Isaiah reduced them to 11. Micah reduced them to three, to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before your God. So Micah took 613 laws and brought it down to three, do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly before your God. When Jesus was asked by an antagonist what the greatest commandment was, it is amazing to me that he did not reduce it to one. It's profoundly moving to me that he did not reduce it to one. He could have, but he reduced it to two. To love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. He said, on these two hang all of the laws and all of the prophets. 613 laws were put on two pegs. To love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself. Why did he give us two and not one? Because of the first, the second necessarily follows. Without the first, the second is with its feet firmly planted in midair. You don't have the essence of what the created order is, then loving your neighbor becomes purely an option for you and for me. Jesus said it is not an option. It is a necessary corollary. It follows from the first. You see, your ethnicity, your race, who you are, is your distinctive gift by God. It is an inviolable gift that God has given to you. When he talks of all of the nations, when Paul gives his sermon there in the book of Acts, he talks of all of the nations that were there and how God had called him to take that message to every nation and every tongue and every tribe. You are a creature created by God and there's a segue I want to give to you here before moving to the second ramification. I want you to follow me carefully now. Not only are you of essential worth with humanity, in that essentiality, there's a particular worth to you. I want you to follow this very carefully so we, <coughs> so we don't get lost in this whole thing that we call the mass of humanity. There is an individuality to you. In fact, it comes from the Latin indivisible. You cannot be broken up you come as a unique composite. You are irreplaceable. A position can be refilled, but you will never replace a person. There's a uniqueness to them. 